Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to a kind of new series of Old World where I'm once again for the third and final time going to be attempting to win on the glorious difficulty playing as Nebuchadnezzar as Babylonia. Well, at least we'll be playing as Nebuchadnezzar until he gets old and dies. Now I'm going to stress right now, this is the final attempt I'm going to make at this. If I don't manage to do it on this attempt, the next one will be something different, like at least at the very least a different leader. But I appreciate that in the last game I didn't really play to Babylon's strengths, which was to try and you know max out their science i should have been ahead of the curve in terms of science and i really didn't get there i mean their science games aren't that amazing they get one science per uh, turn per city which isn't a huge boost uh, but they also have the ability to build the shrine of naboo which gives them plus one science per turn and i think that's the only one for science yeah uh, now um some people have commented on the last videos about things that I did and things that I didn't do. So I'm going to try and get around those as much as possible. I'm not going to try and focus too much on culture. I still need to build an army to make sure that I'm not attacked and overwhelmed. I'm going to attempt to sort of a, a science rush here. This is what I want to do. See if I can beat everyone else to science, which is good all around because it allows me then to have better soldiers and stuff. Um... But I want to try and get to a point where I can get those victory points from the science. So we're going to go and see, hopefully, how that goes. And I'll do a better job than last time. As far as the map script goes, we're going to do Seaside. Because this was the one, this was the default map type for Old World. So inspired by the Middle East, but with a generally milder climate. So it's a region bordered by or containing large seas, gulfs or bays, offering a substantial amount of coastline. The, the only other one that I thought could possibly be useful... Uh, this continent, a small continent on the scale of Australia, guaranteed to be circumnavigable with a thin map boundary, within the map boundary. Um, you see, I don't really want to be all squished up with the AI. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go seaside. It's a different one anyway, so that's the point, right? We're going to be doing a, diff a different map type and see how that works out. So I need to start out the same way that I did in, in the previous one, and that is to basically go in aggressively and get as many cities as I can as quick as I can. So this is going to be our capital. We are on water. Lots of mountains around. That's going to be really good for getting quarries. So this is another thing, you know, people are saying, look, the important thing here is basically get workers and just concentrate on resource gathering because that's usually where I fail because I don't have enough resources for anything. So let's pick where we're going to make our start. Um, they're all about as good. I mean, that one gives us an extra couple of tiles next to the mountains, but at the same time, it's also just giving us the mountain tiles, which aren't that useful. So I think starting on the spot there isn't a bad idea. Ranged units starting with Sentinel could be good. Because we are going to have to get some early units out. Um, starting this one. I mean, we don't, we're don't. we not going to have ships here because we're not on the sea. Mines and lumber mills could be good here. But it's going to be a while before we get any lumber mills. Um, reducing the time to build urban, urban improvements is nice. And we do get a free worker. Now, the Amorite's a good one because we do get extra science and we get a random technology and it reduces the cost of urban specialists and we get culture. So, uh, not culture, um, civics. So, both of these could be particularly good. The free worker is nice. We don't necessarily need to get that culture to start with because the capital is your oldest city and you'll always get like a huge amount of culture anyway. Mines and lumber mills are good, but we can't build lumber mills yet, and we're going to want quarries. So I'm actually going to go for the Amorites here, just so we can get um, faster specialist build later on. And we'll get a free random tech, so we're going to go for that one. And we've discovered divination, not the most useful. Now, we are going to want warriors, and we are going to want stone cutting. The game is suggesting warrior. Um... We don't have a worker yet, so let's go and get Warrior. Oh, we do have a worker, but let's go and get Warrior anyway. And then let's start working on a few things. So we don't have food. This is suggesting a camp here. Uh, we're not going to run out of food for a few turns. Let's go and get the camp, because it will give us some gold. 
We'll go and get a few farms. There aren't really many good tiles here for farms. Not flat ones, anyway. So we'll see how that works out. We do have some orders left. We do have a scout. We've got a, a thing over here that we can grab. So in the ruins of decaying rune-carved temple, your scouts discover a dying priest, uh, priestess and a young child. With her final words, she entreats the scouts to bring you the child saying he's destined to change the world adopt the child as my own um so what does this do adopted by king Kness, the founder could change the succession and anger characters who are bypassed or i have no interest in mysterious children now let's give it a go because i don't know where this um so the quest line is going to go. What's going to happen? What's going to change here? Because I've never, I've never done that option before. Okay, we have found. Okay, well we've got um, a landmark. I've got no option with these guys to not be at war with them. These are the vandals. So it looks like we're at war with these guys straight away. Which is fine, but we don't really have any units, so we definitely need to get the uh, swordsman out as soon as possible. Um, I'm going to go and... He might come out and attack the scout. I'm going to go and put the... Uh, slinger in the city, just in case they, they move this way. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, out of orders, because obviously we're right at the start of the game. So this is our daughter. She's our heir. So we will go for philosophy. Again, we do want to try and push science, if possible. Um, let's harvest those horses, because free gold. And just do a little bit of scouting around where we can. Harvest the elephants, free gold. We've found more vandals here, so uh, let's go back and hide in the trees again. So they've got two camps over here. There's another city site down here to the south. So we definitely want to go and grab that as soon as possible. Uh, we do have orders remaining. We haven't really met anyone yet, so I don't think there's an awful lot that we can do. We're, we've got a wife, so I'm not really sure what I could do with those additional orders. Um, so I guess we'll just, just leave them and, and bank them up. So uh, you could do something. I mean, I guess I could promote you, because we do have some training. Or we could even put a general in there. I could go and put myself in as a general. But I'm not sure that I necessarily want to do that. It would give you one extra movement. Yeah, right, we'll put ourselves in as a general, because we will have to go and attack at some point. So we'll end the turn. We still haven't got that settler yet. I might just run that settler straight down here and attempt to grab this city site first, because I don't think this city site is guarded. And indeed, it is not. Um, we're still two turns away from getting that, so let's harvest the silver, and we can go down there and grab that on the next turn. So that, that one's going to be a, a freebie, almost. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to keep you here until we get some more units. At the very least, we want to get ourselves a couple of swordsmen. It's taken an awfully long time for this uh, worker, but it is what it is. So, yeah, let's go on to the next turn. In addition to her studies, Kashaya has been shadowing you at meetings and other duties to learn the art of governance. So what are the options here? We can basically choose a teacher for her. So one is our wife, and the other is the head of the Amorite family. So either of these ones, it's the princess that becomes influenced by us. And we would get some opinion from either the queen or the head of the house. Now what do we want here? I think you've got the better stats. You do lose us a tiny little bit of money. But um, plus four charisma, plus three. So basically, if we, if we tally up the minuses and the negatives, you've got a plus seven and a minus one. You've got a plus three and a minus two. So I think you are the one that we have to go for there, realistically. Uh, okay, so we are on a new turn now. I'm just going to have a little look around with the scout just to see what else I can find because I might as well harvest stuff where I can. And I'm going to keep you on that city site just to make sure nobody else nabs it. I could start moving down with the slinger. I don't think I realistically need to. 
It might be worth having a little look over here just to see if we can see anything. We can't, not at the moment anyway. Uh, okay, let's send the turn again. The worker will be finished at the end of this turn and also now we have the settler. We're going to get the settler down here. I'm not going to force march the settler because it's a waste of training. I am going to bring back the slinger. And we've got the worker. The worker's suggest well, well, we've got two orders. The worker's suggesting potentially another camp. We still don't have any food at the moment. It's suggesting a farm over there. Let me undo and leave the uh, slinger where he is. We don't desperately need to move him. Let's go and get the farm over here on the barley. Because it's a really good farm tile. It's plus 2 growth and plus 14 food. So that makes the most sense. Even though it's next to mountains. And these would be ideal for a quarry. Um, I don't necessarily think I'm going to build a... Gr I might build a granary here. Because that will be next to the farm. But I think I think these tiles are probably going to be granaries. Because, uh, especially this one. This is definitely going to be a gra uh, Not granary. A uh, quarry. This one's definitely going to be a quarry. Um, so what we're going to do now. We could do with another worker. But we don't have a lot of orders. So, um, where are we on science? We can't get the slingers yet either, can we? So, what do we want to get? Do we want to get another worker? Do we want to get another scout? We don't have a lot of food coming in. We could start off by getting a treasury. Or we could start off by getting the forum. The forum will give us some extra science. And we've got the civics. Let's go and get the forum. That might not have been the right thing to do, but we'll we'll do what we can. We'll move you back a little bit, because we do have an order left. Okay, so, next option. Um, don't need to worry... To, well, we will need roads, but we don't have a lot of workers, so we probably don't want to rush that right away. The game is suggesting husbandry. And we do seem to have a lot of animals around. Uh, barracks could be useful. Let's just have a quick look here. What do we have in terms of animals? There are some sheep down here. There's some sheep here as well. You, that's a camp, so that doesn't require them. But yeah, prob husbandry is probably not a bad call on that one. So you are going to set up over here. Uh, I'm going to grab this tile because then we get the... I could do that one as well, I suppose. Not that it makes a huge deal of difference. But I'm going to do this one because that will give us access to the silver. So what seat are we going to found here? Um, we are going to have a, at least one camp. Yeah, I think this one might be a good one for the Cassites. Because we are going to have at least one camp. It'll give us some free stuff. Yeah. It won't be connected to the capital, but that's fine. And then we can produce... Um, we can produce slingers from there as well. Uh, Emissary of the Namidians has arrived with a gift of wood. Um, well, I probably will go to war with them, but I don't necessarily want to go to war with them now. It is only a truce, so we can, as and when needed, break that. Uh, we can now produce, or we should be able to produce, um, warriors, shouldn't we? Or did I not have the option? What did I go for? I can't remember what the last science was. We don't we don't have warriors yet. Can we produce... What, what can I produce over here? No, I can. I can get slingers and warriors. Um, slingers do have sentinels, so I'm probably better off producing the slingers here. So let's get a slinger here. And then... You're working on the forum, which I want you to do, but I also think we need a warrior. So I'm just going to put the warrior in the front of the queue, because I want to be able to go down there and deal with... Um, I want to be able to go and deal with these guys and grab their city sites. So let's go and have a little bit of a look with you. So we do have a truce with the Namidians. So here's another... Um, city site that we can grab. Let's just put you in the trees. Oh, great. We'll get that on the next turn. Might be something useful. 
Ah, my wife is intelligent. Excellent. A letter arrives by courier from the princess at the academy. Um, so just XP, basically. Castite family have sent representatives from Eridu to speak before the court and make a plea for you to either control five military units or clear three tribal sites. I think I'll go for the five military units because we are definitely going to be heading towards that anyway. I've already got one. I'm working on two more, so five shouldn't be a big problem. Right, let's grab this. Your scout stumbled across an ancient, long-abandoned structure that appears to have once been a village surrounding a mine. Upon investigation, your wise men inform you that the substance mined from here was cal calinite. Never heard of it. And that the vein has not yet been exhausted. It would take an investment to get the mine back operational, but the result would be that your craftsman could make the most extraordinary pottery. What do you say? So we could spend 330 gold if we had it, and Babylon would gain porcelain. Or we can take the XP. Do you know what? I'd quite like to get the porcelain. Um, we could sell... A little bit... Um, how much are we short? Like, two gold. I'm just going to sell one bit of wood. Now we can do that. Now we've got porcelain in Babylon. Great, we can send that somewhere else. Excellent. Just using the hills. Oh, look at that. We've got um, gems here as well. So this is definitely going to be a good site to grab. Try and keep you in trees at the end of your turn so that you're not um, overwhelmed by these guys. Yeah, I'm going to need to go and try and hit these camps quick before they start sending lots of units my way. Uh, and that's pretty much all I can do. Definitely need more workers and stuff, but for, for the time being, you guys are going to stay here. Now, let's just have a quick look and see. Obviously, Discontent is in both cities although it's slightly higher here so let's go and send the porcelain to you it's not going to buy it down but it will slow it down you are going to stay there we'll go on to the next turn okay so you finish that farm that is good that's going to give us a decent amount of food for the time being i can't build quarries yet um which is annoying because i don't have any flipping stone we could go and get another camp. We could build the granary here. Because it would increase the output from the farm. I think we'll go and get the camp though. But yeah, we need to be able to start building granaries because we're already struggling for stone. Which is amazingly annoying. And we found another landmark. We found some horses, which we can harvest. Move you up there. And I guess... Oh, look at that. We're next to barbarians. Do we want to harvest that lavender? I'm going to be cheeky and undo that move. I don't think the barbarians will come out here and attack me. Let's go hide in these trees. We'll go back up there and harvest that on the next turn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just need to get this swordsman out and need to get this slinger out. We're definitely going to end up having to buy some stone. As much as I don't want to do it, we're literally running out. Uh, as soon as husbandry's finished, fingers crossed that we get quarry because we need it. So it looks like we are doing this, hiding in the trees. Not really much else we can do, so on to the next turn. So this is the adopted child, I believe. Can be tutored by courtiers. Uh, so this is our daughter. So let's give you wisdom. After a brief interaction with Ilanti the Younger. So who are you? Just like a random person. Uh, you can think of nothing else. You begin taking walks together and you find yourself charmed by her sweet, clever ways. Should we worry about this acquaintance? Uh, she is caring and makes good company. She becomes lover. Perhaps it is best to send her away. So she becomes exiled. Uh, and we become bitter. Well, I don't really want to become bitter. So we'll take it as it is, I suppose. Um, or is this the adopted... Yeah, this is the adopted son. He's actually a blessed. He's a blessed child. Um, let's give him philosophy. Or have him study philosophy, I should say. Uh, so we've got a lot of orders at the moment. Workers are busy. Really annoying having to tiptoe around with, with you, but not much else we can do. Um, looking over here, so we're two years away from getting this slinger, three years away from getting this 
swordsmen. Not too sure how many units these guys are going to have over here. Um, three units might be enough to take them out. I'm crossing my fingers that it is. So this is our son second in line. Um, let's go for tactics. Uh, one evening, uh, as courtly revels end, you meet a fascinating young envoy from far away named Atosa the Younger. Her beauty catches your eye and her laughter lightens your heart. The sun rises. Atosa asks if she, if she may meet with you again. When she returns to Babylon... Setting her cool gaze upon you, she waits for an answer. Let's see where it goes. Could lead to future events. Or, this has been nice, but it must end now. We become loyal. Uh, which is a strength. Two extra discipline. And slingers gain six XP per year. That would actually be really nice. So, let's do that. Um, so, yeah. Probably don't want to go too far away. Um with this uh, so we've met Rome now so we can become vigilant which gives us more city defense but that's only on our king so once he dies you know we lose that and that's yeah or well, we can gain a free farmer let's get that free farmer so we've met Rome they're over here somewhere Probably that's too far away, yeah. So at least we know, right, Rome are over there now. We know where they are. I'm going to head down towards the coast and then sort of travel back in my own direction. See what I can find. I think I've got time for one more turn here. So our daughter and heir has become timid. One of our agents in the Cassite household reports that a prisoner is being held secretly in the family dungeon. The captive is an ambassador from Rome who encountered the overzealous Cassite guards on the road to the capital. They snubbed him and are now holding him as a spy. We should expect to receive an angry message from Rome any day now. I have faith in the judgment of the Cassites. Rome loses opinion of us. Free this man and return him to Rome, so the Cassites lose opinion of us. Or we must work together to fix this misunderstanding requires that we are honourable. So we gain XP. That's cool. So this is our son third in line. This is the adopted one. During one of your visits to the academy, he asked for you to come and see his pet monkey. He recently rescued the fairy creature from a local market and it fell in love with him. So we can become a Pathfinder, Cultivator, Equestrian, or Tracker. Or he can become Educated and get Gain plus 2 Wisdom. I think he wants the plus 2 Wisdom for now. Because he's probably not going to be the leader. Okay. So the worker is now finished on that camp. We're still running out of stone and we can't build any quarries which is annoying um we don't have the stone to really build shrines we could go ahead we don't really want the farm we could build a granary i'm going to go ahead and build a granary here and then we'll try and get quarries as soon as possible so we do now have um more slingers this city, I mean, we need workers, but again, we don't have the materials right now. So, we have got some iron. Let's try and get another warrior out on this city. As I said, I'm going to head back towards my... Right, you're, you've taken damage from something. Are you fighting barbarians? There's some legitimacy. So yeah, Rome might be a problem. So we've got you now. And we've got you. Now we're also losing out on training. But that's because we are producing units. We're going to have another warrior come out here. So we've got two military units. We're about to get a third. We're working on a fourth. And we'll probably need a fifth. Yeah, I think I got... Um, Let's just go on to the next turn, because I'd like to see what science options I'm going to get next time. Now, I can get a free worker. Now, I get, I get told off for taking, like, free workers or free units, because, um, you know, it's all, it's all every time you take one of these three things, it's not really free, because you're spending at least a, a, a year on it. And a year is a really quick time to get a worker. But then again, have, if it, what am I going to do if I have two workers now? I don't have 
enough stone or anything. So we are going to go for stone cutting because I really need to be able to get quarries. More than anything else right now, I need quarries. So we are going to go and do that. We do have um, an event. So our adorable court monkey has proven to be a revelation for the court scientists. The top scholar has studied him and her experiments are leading to new insights into animal behaviour. Um, so we can just get a straight up boost to science. That completes quarries. Now we can we can get quarries. Uh, having a look here. We can get a food boost. I'm not going to take it. We're in positive boost. I don't need to worry about that. I think we should... Yeah, we should probably just get military drill. It's five years. I don't really want to go over there here with a single um, military unit because I don't think we will survive. So that's not the most sensible thing to do. So yeah, already, I mean, I'm only 13 turns into the game and I already have a stone deficit and I'm losing out on iron. So it is it is, it is, is going to be a tricky one to fix. We've got this swordsman now, though. So we could, in theory, start moving in with some units. And I think that is what we're going to do. Um, let's keep bringing... I guess that's probably too far away to harvest. Yeah, Rome have claimed a city site down there. Hardly surprising. Uh, we found the Thracians... We can go to war with them or maintain the truce. Let's main the truce. Did we? All, oh, that's the Numidians. So there's three tribes uh, on this map. Rome are probably going to go to war with them anyway. We're out of orders now. I'm going to do, I think, one more turn. Yeah, these guys are actually coming into me, which is a little bit annoying. These guys want to end the war. Well, we don't, we don't want to end this war because we want to take them out. Family quarrel. Drama consumes the court. So some of the scholars run away with the princess, which is my daughter, leaving their families behind. Now his wife demands that we organise an expedition to pursue her, kill her, and return to uh, Lutipri. How shall we respond? So the Amorites can lose opinion of us, but we become gracious, which gives us slingers get extra defense, and we get extra charisma. Give the oligarch permission to pursue them. They both become fugitives, could lead to future events, or send troops to bring them back. I mean, I don't really want the Amorite opinion... We're early enough in the game where that can recover, and I think getting that extra... Um, the extra civics and the extra defense on the slingers, especially at a time where we are fighting um, enemy units, is probably worthwhile having. Because there we go, we've already taken out one of their units. Yeah, Rome is most likely going to go in there and wipe those guys out. Not unexpected, really. Uh, another event, the scouts of Babylonia are fearless, exploring even further under your expert direction. With the latest reports of far off lands, you have had the you have had the many discoveries compiled into a map of the known world. There we go. Uh, news of this spreads and you are soon known as the explorer. Poring over the map and Im Im uh, imagining the place is still undiscovered, you wonder how you will stand apart from the other nations of the world. Is it time to pursue a new ambition to secure the name of Babylonia? Uh, start an ambition to control four minor specialists or send luxuries to two tribes. This is an interesting one because I don't have two luxuries to send. I've only got one so far. And minor specialists. Well, I'm not, I'm not really going to be building a lot of mines. And do I really want to... Um, do I really then want to use four population just on mines? We could... We could wait here and just try and get a different one because I don't think that one is really going to serve us all that well. I honestly don't. Um, let's send the year. And I keep saying just one more turn. But these guys keep sending units my way. What am I to do? Um, so this is the adopted son. Uh, we could get him in as a court scholar. We don't want him to become insane. Let's give him the mentorship, see what he becomes. Uh, the court monkey is distracting. We can lose one discipline. Well, we lose one discipline anyway. 
Let's keep the monkey. Recently you felt a certain restlessness. You simply aren't content to wait about at home, bored by the mundanity of the palace duties and court ceremony. Being a scholar, you're eager to travel the world. So we can go off exploring. I think we're just going to take the science there. Right, let's, let's deal with these guys. I was kind of hoping they'd get a little bit closer so I could take another unit out. Six years before they produce another one, they could have another one hiding there in the back. I do not know. But it would be nice to be able to take, take that one out. I am still producing another swordsman here, so we can potentially tag this one out if it gets too injured. And we do need another slinger. We are working on the forum here. Uh, once we finish this granary, we will be able to start getting quarries. There's a couple of good flat tiles here next to the mountains. So these, particularly this one, this would be a very good quarry over here because it's got four mountains next to it. So that's probably going to be our first quarry. Uh, we'll be doing that in the next video. Uh, let's just finish off this one by bringing the scout home a little bit. So we could go down here to the south. It's probably not, won't harm to have a little bit of a look around, see what's here. See how close we are to the end of the map. This looks like it might be an inland sea, which would be quite interesting. So we'll see how that goes. But there we are. That's all the movement we can do. Um, definitely having some problems with stone and iron already, but I'm sure we'll get that sorted out. 666 gold in the bank. That's a bit foreboding. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we will work on it. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do consider leaving a like. And once again, you know, I appreciate all sort of comments, feedback, pointers, bits and pieces that I may have missed in the comments section. So please do continue leaving those. And hopefully this run will go better than the previous ones. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.